I really didn't get recruited heavily out of high school at all. Rumors were coming out that Iona College was going to drop their football program. I, I basically had nowhere to play. The bone separated my foot, so I, I had to get surgery. Come out every day, you know, know that I'm competing for, competing for a job. It's every high school quarterback's dream to play at the next level, a long, difficult road that many will not succeed in. For undersized quarterbacks, the road is even harder. The average size for a starting NFL quarterback is six foot three inches, but don't tell that to the six foot one under-recruited Warren Smith, who is not only fighting for a career, but fighting to fulfill a dream. From the bench to the field, this is the Warren Smith story. So yeah, I started playing football around eight, nine, eight years old. Um, started playing at Pee -wee, the Pee Wee level, Pop Warner level. Uh, you know, made best friends playing football at the Pop Warner level. Fell in love with the game, and uh, eventually went to high school. Played high school football for Lacey Township. Um, won a state final my junior year. Like my senior year, I, I had a good year. My senior year, we went to the state final, and. Um, you know, I figured I figured I'd be getting like, recruited by like some Division One schools, at least some. A lot of other schools were telling me that I was, you know, too small, not fast enough. Um, like, basically the whole the, the whole works, the whole nine. You know, saying you know I, I don't have enough to be a uh, collegiate quarterback. So, so you know, I uh, I, I signed my letter of intent to go to Iona College, Division One school, non scholarship, Division One AA, and. That was basically it for my high school recruiting. I, 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 I didn't get recruited by Iona. I, I kind of went at Iona. I, I can't, I, I, you know, physically tr made myself go to Iona. And, you know, the rest is history. I just, I, you know, I, I worked my tail off in camp, you know, uh, learned the offense real quick. Quarterback coach John Kaleo, you know, a lot of respect for the guy. He taught me a lot of good things. And before you knew it, the season started, and I was a second string quarterback. We were playing Wesley. And, um, a cornerback breaks his foot in front of him. So basically him breaking his foot, you know, solidified me as the starting quarterback at Iona College for the final six, seven games where um, we weren't that great. But I think as a, as a freshman, you know, learning, you know, learning how to read college defenses, I, uh, I did pretty well. And um, my numbers, my numbers were all right. I threw for like 1,300 yards, uh, 10 touchdown passes my freshman year. Um, and basically... By you know, by the end of the end of, end of my freshman year, rumors were coming out that Iona College was going to drop their football program, and this is like a shock to me because you know I just got to, I just got to Iona, you know I solidified myself as a starter. I figured I'd have three more years starting quarterback here, and two weeks after the season, they dropped the program, so I had nowhere to play. It was the worst feeling. A lot of freshmen transfer, lost a lot of friends. Then I came down to University of Maine, and one morning I woke up and I got a phone call from a. Uh, Coach uh, Kevin Burgoyne, offensive coordinator, you know, he came down and visited my house a week before, and and you know he ended up offering me a full scholarship to come play football at the University of Maine, and you know like the, the sigh of relief was so great because you know all that hard work got paid off, and now you know I'm saving my mom and dad a ton of money to go play, go to school, get a, get a free education, you know, and playing the game I love at the at the one of the highest levels, you know, at the highest levels. Camp came around, I started doing, I had a great camp, I had a great camp, learned the offense again. You know, a whole new system I learned, you know. And um, before you knew it, the season came. And there was no second or third string. It was either, you know, Mike Brusco was a starter, and there was me and my, my other quarterback member, Chris Treister. It was just me and him. And we, we were kind of like the same person, you know, um, second or third string. No one really knew. But after the first game, we beat we beat St. Cloud State, a Division II team. Bring, they brought us to overtime. We couldn't throw the ball. Basically, we could not throw the ball. And our run game, we, we had a young offensive line, so our run game wasn't as good as it was the year before. And then the next week, we were playing Syracuse University. And, you know, we just lost Albany. We're all like, man, Syracuse is going to kick us in the teeth. They're going to kill us. And coach took me in. He was like, hey, Warren, listen, you're, you're starting the rest of the way. And basically, you know, gave me the starting job going into the week of Syracuse. We 
we ended up losing uh, 44-24, I think it was. But going into halftime, we, we were beating Syracuse at 17-14 at the time. And I threw two touchdown passes in the first half. Great feeling. Um, you know, it, it basically, you know, it was a smaller team going into a big a, a big team's house, and we kind of smacked them up in the first half. And uh, it was one of the greatest feelings I've ever had in my life, you know. I had, like, I had like five of my best friends there. My family was there. Um, my sister even came. And we ended up losing, but that was my first start, and it kind of, like, you know, sunk me in where I was like, all right, I, I can compete at this level. You know, I just went to Syracuse, threw for 310 yards, three touchdown passes. So that was a big, you know, lift for me, you know, uh, for my self-motivation, my self-esteem, you know, and, and my playmaking ability. So after the Syracuse game, you know, I started for six, seven more games. Uh, I was doing pretty good. I was doing, I was actually having a pretty good year at the time. And we, we were winning at halftime every game. We were, we were in every game. We were doing well. I threw for a, I threw for a, a bunch a bunch of yards, a bunch of touchdowns, ran for a couple of touchdowns, and then we went down to James Madison in Virginia. We were driving in the fourth quarter, a simple drop back pass, and my foot like I was I, I, I dropped back, nothing was open. I went to go take off, and the, the two defenders, the defensive tackle and the defensive end, came from behind, tackled me from behind. My foot got caught in the ground, and basically put like landed on my ankle, and I couldn't get my foot out underneath. So my foot basically like got smushed and the bone separated my foot. So I had, I had to get surgery and fuse, my, and fuse them back together like a week later after, after it happened. So, I mean, it was tough to watch my team play the following two games, you know, without, without, without you know, helping them out in the field at all. And now it's like, it was like almost a big setback for me. Now I gotta, you know, come out every day and, you know, know that I'm competing for, competing for a job. And, you know, it's, it's tough at times where you know you you can't do some things that other quarterbacks can do. So basically, you just gotta you know take it one day at a time. You know every day come out to compete in the weight room on you know spring football as we're as we're in now, and you know make the most of it. And uh, you you can't let opportunities slip away from you. Hey, we got 412 Panama. 412. Hey, 412. Playing in the NFL has always been a dream of me, and I've always, you know, I've always said that it's possible for me to go. You know, I mean, I'm six foot, six one on paper, they say, and uh, 200 pounds. And I think, you know, within two years of I keep working my tail off, hopefully having successful years of football. The NFL will, will, can be an option for me, you know. Um, but, yeah, it's been a dream my whole life to go play, play in the NFL. Uh, I, I've been saying this since I was younger. I, I believe I can play there. A lot of people say, a lot of people told me to quit dreaming. You know, that, that's almost like, you know, self-motivation for myself, you know, when people doubt me. You know, I feel like people have been doubting me my whole life. You know, pe people, like, don't really think I should have been at Maine when I got to Maine. But, um, you know, it's just... Another, another bump in the road, you know, I got to overcome. And I'm looking forward to, you know, making a move to it and, you know, one day trying to compete in the NFL. They doubted me all my life. Whatever it is, I'll pay the cost. I'm willing to risk it, I'll take the law. I put it on the line. In a hustler's state of mind. Just so we can claim victory Oh, victory, victory Boats, three totes and pass it, grass lit, hitting slopes and aspen. No coke, just an oath to stay thorough till we back to ashes. Driven and flash of dance to the MGM Grand. Picture lots of sand, two blondes and plants, Remy in hand. We trying to tan, deal my cars with an honest hand.